Taking yards. Taking yards. How crazy. We're sitting here. Look, smoke. Look, smoke is dead right there. Taking yards on the floor. I wouldn't even think it was the rug. Could have been a bit. Good evening, everybody. Today I am with Luke Holsapple. He's over there peeing. You guys may remember him from the bow fishing video. But today we are out here at his property and we're going to try to double up on some does. Um, he is right over there. I forgot my caps to my muzzle loader, so we're just taking his and maybe we can do the quick reload and get everything working correctly but we're gonna walk down to this big field he says and we're gonna see if we can't shoot two does tonight if not one but uh stay tuned and make sure to leave a like and a comment Did you kill it? What? No, you didn't tell. I couldn't tell. So Luke just shot a deer. Well, we think he shot it. We're pretty sure if we look back at the footage and now, um, I think we've seen blood. Um, my blood is pumping right now, guys. Sorry, I'm trying to get a hold of my phone. I'm doing this on my phone right now, but my blood is pumping. Should be pretty good footage. We looked back, but then again, I jump right when he shoot it because I don't have a tripod, like I said. Told you guys in the last video that I need to invest in a tripod, but that was wild. I didn't think it was gonna happen. We scared deer coming in here, and uh, we didn't know if we'd get another chance, but we did. So we're gonna go out in this field, look for blood, and hopefully he's dead. I thought I heard him crash, but we'll see. We got some blood right here. Yeah, it looked like a little button buck, didn't it? Yeah, you can see it's... Yeah. We have to say. Well, it feels good. I think it's my first one with the muscle that I've
smoke shot, smoke city. So this bun butt came out. What time is it? Probably around 515, 520. 515, yeah. And he was about 60 yards, I'd say, a little closer maybe. And I was in the brush more, and Ethan was in an opening where it was a little more clear so the camera could focus and everything. So we heard some, and I got my gun ready, and I see him run out. Well, kind of trot out, and we waited so Ethan could get him in the clear opening, and he started to look at Ethan, and that's why I hurried up and shot him. But it was it was a good shot, and he didn't go very far at all. Not at all. I hit him a little back right here. Yeah. Is that going to be guts or no? What? Is that going to be guts or no? No. That'd be... Spacing like this. It'd be about a, almost a perfect shot. How do you plan on getting him out of here? I'm dragging him with a rope. That's going to be a pretty far drag, isn't it? Well, I'm going to bring my truck to the field edge. Should we get you cutting the balls off for the YouTube? I don't care. <laughs> this will be the end clip, the funny little end clip. It'll just be you grabbing his balls and ripping them off. Everybody. I got this light in my face. Um, it was a pretty successful hunt. Uh, Luke told me, he says, hey, let's go sit down here. Um, they're going to come out of this corner, but we were worried about the wind, so um, we had to make a few minor adjustments. We bumped the deer when we first got in there, and uh, he was right. Deer came right out of that corner. Um, we kind of heard something rustling around. We think maybe it jumped like a little ravine or something or getting enough energy to go up the hill or something like that but i hope you guys enjoyed this video um make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment make sure to press subscribe it would really help us out um but thanks for watching and as always t-rig tv